Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another tutorial on how to download and play Backyard Soccer 2004 on Windows. This will be a bit of a longer video today because I'll be showing you two options for how you can play the game on Windows. So for this video, you need Windows CD emulator, which we'll use to mount and actually run the game files. And the other optional part is to use Scum VM emulator which will make things a lot easier for when you want to return to the games later. But if you just sit on just having Windows CD emulator, that is fine as well. So, let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up your browser and head over to Google. I'm using Google Chrome, so that is my default. But if not, you need to go to Google and you need to search for Win CD Emu, like on the screen. And you sh one of these first two downloads should work for you, but the one that says download here, select that one, and it'll take you directly to the screen that we'll need to go to. Okay, so once you're here, you'll see a green download button in the center of the screen. You'll need to select that one. You'll get this pop-up window, just hit the X on the ad, and then the game, sh the, the emulator should download. And it's really quick. It's a really small file. Once it's done, we can close our browser and head over to File Explorer. Okay, once we're there, we need to head over to our Downloads tab. And you should see the Windows CD Emu there. So double click to open it so we can install it. Okay. So on here, let's click Customize installation window and just to show you where the file will show up whenever you're finished. So mine will be in program files 86 folder in my C drive. So once that installation is complete, set we need to go to our C drive here on this left side. It's my C drive and it is in the folder program files 86 and it's saved under win CD emu. Like such, okay? So once we open that folder, you'll see two mounting files at the bottom. Let's open up both of those to make sure our settings are correct. So if you double click on the first mounting tool, it should have these settings. So make sure you select always ads before mounting images. Press OK. I think it's default, but just double check. And let's open this one to double check it. And your settings should look like this. And just select OK. So now our CD emulator is ready. Now we'll need to download ScumVM. Like I mentioned earlier, if you like, you can skip this part and just use Windows CD emulator. But I do recommend that you download this as well. So we'll need to head over to the site scumvm.org, like on the screen. And then over here on this right hand side, you'll see a downloads tab. You need to select there. And then in the middle of the screen, you will see a orange download tab here. Select that one and the download will begin. It's not a huge file, so it should be pretty quick of a download. But once it is finished, we can close out of our browser. And then we'll need to go into our file explorer. And then we'll need to go to our Downloads tab again. Okay, once you're there, you should see the Scum VM download. It has a green icon. You need to double click to open it. Okay, once it's open, you'll get this pop up. Just press OK on this first screen. And then here, press Next. Here it shows you the folder that it'll be saved in. You can just hit next and this will create a desktop shortcut cut for you and you just hit next and install. Okay, once it's done installing, you can hit finish. You'll get a pop-up window. You can just close this out. You won't need it any of this documentation. Okay, and now we can Okay, and ScumVM will open up for you in the background, and it'll look something like this. 
this is where you'll add the games to later. If you chose this option to run and play the backyard soccer game files, and your icon will look like that on the desktop. But now, we we'll need to download the backyard soccer game. So we need to do that at myabandonware.com. Okay, once you're there, and in the top right of the screen, you'll see a game search bar. You'll need to search for backyard soccer. And press enter. Okay, once you're on the next screen, just scroll up a bit until you see Backyard Soccer 2004. It'll look like this. Select that one. And on the next page, scroll up a bit. And you should see the yellow download icon here. You select download, and then you'll see a blue download icon. And make sure you select the Windows version. Don't get it confused with the Mac version out here. So we'll select download. Okay, and once it's finished, we can close out of our browser and then we need to head back into our file explorer. So first I'll be showing you how to play the game using ScumVM. So you need to navigate to your downloads and then You'll see your backyard soccer folder here. You need to double click to open that. And here you see another backyard soccer folder. Double click to open that. And it should bring you here. So now this is where we'll use our Windows Semi Emulator Mountain Tool. Sorry. We'll select Extract All here at the top. And we'll select Extract. And it shows you where this um, folder will be saved to. So you can find it later. Mine goes to mine. C drive, yours might be different, so pay attention to where these files are saved to. Okay, once it's open in the background, you should see another backyard soccer folder. Double click to go into there. And then here, I can't ever remember which file to open first, but for this case, I think it will be the, I don't think this is the correct one. Yeah, this is not the right one. Okay, so it'll be the Q file. So we need to right click on the Q file and then go to open with and open with our Windows CD Uni mounter. And this shows you which drive it open up with. It'll be in our H drive. So now it's open. You can scroll up here on this left hand panel. You should see the H drive here with the icon of it. And you'll click into there. And you'll see all these files that we have downloaded. So now we need to go into the game folder and then into our program files folder. And then into this folder here, open that. And you should see this backyard soccer folder. And this is the folder we'll need in order to run and play the game. All the files in here are already ready and set up for us. So all we need to do is Drag this over, click and drag this over to our desktop so it's easier to find later. And just minimize this and minimize this and we'll come back to this later and I'll show you how to play it using only the Windows CD EMI mounter. But okay, we can open up ScumVM again. Okay, and once you're there, over here on this right side, you just see the Add Game tab. Select that. And over here on this left-hand side, let's navigate to our desktop where we save that folder. And then you should see here, select it and then select Choose. And on this screen, just press OK. And the back here on Soccer will be added to ScumVM, and you can just select it and press Start. And the game will run. So let's just start it up and make sure everything is working smooth. And like I said, ScumVM is a lot easier to use because it saves all your games in one place and it's not a hassle to go find it and mount these files again every time you want to play them. So I do recommend that you use ScumVM for this game. 
Just to select someone and make sure that it works. I have no idea who this is, but I like the hair, so. Let's go with him. See if I can make a PK. Probably not. Yeah, he blocked that easy. Okay. Come on, try. Let me try it again. I hope you got. Let's try. Let's try the right side. Oh, it's blocked. Dang it. It's kind of tough. You gotta like get that ball into the right spot before he be the timer runs out. Okay, last try. Okay, that should be in. There we go. Alright. Okay, so let's close this out and let's go back to our f file explorer. Okay, so again, if you want to play with just Windows CD Emmy Mounter, It'll be the same exact steps. You have to extract all those files and then open it with your Windows CD Yimmy Mounter. But once you get all the way up into this point, you'll need to locate this file here that says check install. Not that one. Because when it says check install, you need to double click to open that and you should get this install window to select yes and here on the screen you said next and here I just Chose compact. Then we'll put next on the screen and then it will install for us. Okay, and now it's finished. It gave us a desktop icon there on the screen. So we'll just select finished. Okay, registration. We can just hit cancel and never register. You won't need that. And then the game should open. Yeah, there it goes. So that'll be how you run and play the game. Just using Windows CD Emmy Mounter. But in order to play the game again, once you exit out of that drive, you'll need to repeat those same steps. So you need to locate the folder in which it, though you extracted those files to. And you can open the game and play it again using these same exact steps. But there you go. There is your two ways on how to play Backyard Soccer 2004 on Windows. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. But again, thank you for watching and enjoy.